Right, good morning everyone. Now it is Saturday morning. I missed my Friday update yesterday, but we got a lot of rain yesterday. A lot of heavy, heavy rain this morning. But there's some things going on now, a few different spots that I'm going to have to repair over time. And I'm just kind of waiting now to kind of play out the weather because we're supposed to get a lot more heavy rain tonight as well. But let me show you a couple of the areas that have a little bit of damage. I guess you can hopefully see on camera here, but like right through this whole area is where the yard kind of starts to slope down and the water has just been running and running there and so we have a lot of washout. The ryegrass is still staying in place that was there but most of whatever else the peat moss and stuff is all running this way so I'm gonna have to probably overseed this area. Same goes for right here you can see pretty much like a river running down this way so that will need a little bit of attention as well. So in the past couple days there we've had about an inch and a half of rain and these haven't really just been showers, they've been really heavy storms that have come through. So that's where I've been getting all that wash out and some of those problems with the peat moss not staying in place. I also want to show you one little area up front where I didn't tear out as much of the existing dead grass and I kind of just top dressed that area right there and it's coming in much thicker than everything else so if you were kind of doing that process instead of tearing up the whole dirt I want to show you what that looks like. So right over here is that area with the existing kind of dead grass that was more mixed in and you can see around here where it was bare. It's definitely not as thick and a lot more washout going on here too because we have a little bit of a slope but if you look over there that area held things in place much much better. Now also if we look very very closely down in there we have tiny tiny little shoots. be a little bit of the bluegrass coming up now. We're at one week so it would be a little bit quick but at the same time it is possible with how much kind of wet weather we've had and some heat in between and some good sun. So it is possible. It looks like there's a few little tiny tiny shoots coming up in there. Remember I told you it was important to have more seed on hand and these kind of bare spots really are the whole reason why that's important. So I'm going to broadcast just a little bit more seed out onto some of these bare areas. Put a little bit more peat moss on top of those. We have more storms coming tonight. So I want to make sure that I don't get uh, too thin on these spots and have them keep washing out without putting a little more seed in there and hope that it stays in place a little bit. Right here it is after I broadcast more seed out into these bare spots. Now I'm just going to top dress again with peat moss. Pretty much same procedure as we've been doing. So I just toss all this stuff out there with my hands. You get pretty good even coverage. So there's what we're left with a super light layer of peat moss over all those bare spots again that I just threw down a little bit more seed. So we're one week in, did just a little bit of tiny overseeding here, nothing too heavy, and we'll see what the weather brings up to this upcoming week. Hello everyone and happy Labor Day to you if you are in the US. So today just a little bit of a quick update on what's going on with that seeding project that I have going. And uh, it's been a couple days since I did a little update so I wanted to get back out here today. But the problem is it's been raining almost non-stop the last couple days and I got a little bit lucky because just south of me and just to the north and east of me as well they got between six and nine inches of rain over the past couple days. Now I probably got about two, two and a half inches somewhere in there but we've been having more storms today, just tons of rain and it's in the forecast for pretty much every single hour of the day today plus more this week. So it's been a real difficult process for me to try to hold on with this renovation. I know some of the seed is washed away, I know some of the peat moss has some issues and of course I just tried to fix that but a lot of it has moved around again. So I just kind of have to wait here until it looks like maybe the end of the week or so in order to kind of not have a super rainy day that I can actually get out here and fix some things and hopefully we don't have any more washouts after that. Okay, so I'm in and out of the rain so that I can actually talk to you here a little bit, but you can see that gutter over here, right over there, is coming down. All of that water just goes into that little section right over there and just ends up as a little bit of a river. So most of that is all 
I mean, the established grass is still there, and we'll see if it can dry out and just survive that a little bit, but whatever extra seed I had there and the peat moss that was pretty much there is all washed down this way. So that's gonna have to be fixed for sure. So you can tell that there's more bluegrass coming up down in there just day by day. I see a little bit more and a little bit more, so hopefully we can get to the end of this rainy section here and we can start to get that to thrive a little bit more. So that's pretty much the update for today. Things are looking pretty good, but also a few things that I'm gonna have to fix. So thanks so much for watching this one, and we'll see you next time.